Hey you guys, GTV here. Welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm going to show you how to get um, a good screen recorder for iOS 10.1 beta 2, no 10.2 beta 2, whatever the latest firmware that you're on on iOS 10, developers, public beta, whatever you are on. This works for all those sites. Now, um, before I start the video off, I, I just want to give a quick apology because I haven't been posting in a long time because of schoolwork and all that other stuff, so I haven't had time to post, but I'm really sorry, and let's get back to the video. So you came to this video and want to know how to install this screen recorder app as for free, and that requires no jailbreak, so let's get right into it. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to go to this link, and I'll put the link in the description, and basically this is the homepage right here and it's going to um say video in the little picture of it with the blue button beside it so you want to hit the little picture and then you'll get these little pictures of it of what it looks like and stuff so and and um don't hit these little other things right here because this doesn't work out at all this doesn't not apply to video so you want to hit this big blue button it's like these two little symbols hit that and then it's going to prompt you um to install it but i already have it installed on my device so right when you install it um there's going to be it's going to say untrusted developers so to fix that you want to go to general then you want to go to settings general and then device management and you should get this godly management ltd and then it's going to say trust right here. So you click trust. And it's going to say click trust again. And then you hit that. And then it's going to be verified. So once it opens up, this is what it's going to look like. This is what, it, this is what it's going to look, to look like. So it's going to have welcome to video, blah, blah, blah. Please set it up. So when it opens up, it's going to have device audio, microphone, device screen, back camera, front camera, device resolution, device max, and keep, tra keep track files. So before you do anything else with starting the screen recorder, you want to make sure that, that you turn on keep track files. So basically that is that when, when you record it, it'll send it to your camera without it being an option, just leaving it blank in the middle of your phone. So make sure you turn it on. And when you're recording, uh, make sure you turn this device screen thing on. Um, and it's, it's going to give you a little check right there. So that's like the portrait mode. And um, I do believe that when you turn the earphone sideways, like to landscape mode, um, it'll adjust it. Um, so don't worry about that. And then if you want your microphone on, um, iPhone microphone will capture audio from this source. You hit that check mark. And then device audio, I think that that is where you don't have audio from where you're talking, but it'll just record your game sound. So that's all you get. So, and if you want to leave all that blank, leave it blank if you want. So, and make sure you keep the resolution 1,800 frames per second, 60 frames per second. That is the quality of the video if you didn't know that already. So, fast forward when you make the video and you're done making the video, you want to go see it so so when you view it in your camera it's going to have it but the audio isn't on there at all so don't worry about that just keep l listening to this video um you see this big files button at the bottom you, you want to look um click that and then it's going to open up this right here and so it's going to have the audio and um the most recent audio like if you have a lot of audios that are played and like you stop like in the middle of it, it's gonna have that stop button. But the newest one will have like be at the very bottom. And um it's gonna, you know, start at zero zero and the remaining minutes that you recorded it will be on there. So obviously you hit play and you get the sound. So to merge all that up with the video and the um sound, no need for iMovie or any computer softwares for video editing. All you need to do is hit this process button right here. And then this is when it's going to open up. 
So it's going to say, have three things. Audio library, tap to select. Video library, record, blah, blah, record. It, it should say tap to select and video library, tap, tap to select. So the second one is the um sound, you know, at like the microphone that it recorded. So you want to turn... You want to hit the tap to select, and then you want to find your most recent one. It should be at the very bottom. And then you click done, and then the third one, video library selected. It should say tap to select, so you want to tap that. And then um you find the video on your camera roll, and you put that in. And so when you're done, um it's going to have, um you're going to click um process, I think. And then, no, it's going to have start, and then it's going to have, transferring you know that and you can edit it how long you want the video to be like you can edit it you know where you want to start off and all that and then you click start and then it's going to transfer all that information you know to merge it up so hope you understand right now <laughs> so once it's done you can view the video the video and make sure that it's all in your liking and then and then if you don't like it they have a cancel button or they have a um transfer or like a it's not a start button but where the start button is on this picture is gonna have like a little like continue something like that button. So you wanna hit that and then it should send it to your camera and there you have it, your 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 video from video. So <laughs> video from video. So peace out, please like and subscribe for for more videos and I hope that you enjoy it. And I hope this helped you if you want to learn how to install video on your iOS device. And I am on iOS 10, the latest software. I don't know what the latest one is. iOS 10 beta 2, no, iOS 10.2 beta 2. Whatever the latest software is, this works. Now, this is a like a developer thing, so it needs certificates from Apple. And um, it, that's the problem. It may close it sometimes, but... It'll open back up in about um, 48 hours, sometimes even less than that, like three or four hours. So there are some options to fix that, but it's kind of hard. You, you got to pay for it and all that, but <clears throat> to fix that, um, to fix that forever. But peace out. Please subscribe for more videos. I hope you enjoy. Peace.